Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Today we're gonna talk about dynamic router. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Also in the description you can find a couple of Amazon affiliate links and buy me a coffee link where you can support my work if, if you really want to. There is also a github repo link where you can find all examples I showed in the previous videos. And this one of course. So let's start. Well, dynamic router is used when we want to produce messages to a set of endpoints, but with some specific rules. Imagine that we have three endpoints and that we want to route messages to them when some kind of special, special message comes, then the dynamic router will help us with that. In this case, we will have some uh, dynamic rule base which will take care of routing for us. And uh, let's go to the example where you will see how it actually works. So here is the actual example. As you can see, it's a pretty simple one. Um, we have a dynamic router here and the route. So from the direct dynamic router, send to the dynamic router and execute method my dynamic router bin and the method inside that bin should be named route. So yeah, let's go to the dynamic router bin. Okay, so here is the actual logic of uh, our dynamic router. So as you can see, here is our route method. We will receive body and exchange properties. We will set initial a value of uh, number of uh, times the this bin has been invoked so the initial value will be zero after that we will get from properties uh, we will get invoked property if that property does not exist uh, if that property exists we will set that value to the number of time in in row here and we will do the increment here and set the invoked property for the next iteration so the actual value should be updated here after that we will check the body so the idea is to uh, have the three different uh, bodies and for each body we'll um, uh, route to the some other endpoint. In this case if the body is equal value um, of mock we'll set to mock dynamic router. In case that is uh, direct we'll set, send to mock direct dynamic router. In case it's SEDA we'll send to SEDA dynamic router. And this here it's just a precaution, uh, so we don't want to uh, dynamic router to be stuck in an infinite loop. We need to return uh, null once we are finished with uh, routing. So uh, I sent here the zero, and after that it the value will be one. Or if it's uh, if it's existing, it it will just increment that value. But we want just to um, to route if it's uh, the first iteration. In the second iteration, it will return null, and the dynamic router will, will stop. But this this is just for the testing purposes. You can implement this any way you want. So yeah, now that, that we know the actual routing logic, we should go to the test. So yeah, give me a second. Okay, here's the test. So I created here a three tests for each of the bodies. So, but we, b before we start, uh, I created this private method which uh, just uh, extracts values and sets the expectation of message uh, received per endpoint. So yeah, uh, here we have the dynamic router given mock, given direct, 
And given, given said, uh, as you can see, I have the assert mock endpoints. We just uh, set the expectations with every uh, expecting messages as a parameters here. Then we're, we're going to trigger the route and send the exchange bit to the body mock, and we will assert this right here. The same applies for all the, of, of, of the three tests. Uh, the difference is only what we set as a body. So yeah, let's run the tests. Okay, so the test passed and that tells us that we implemented this correctly. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you didn't subscribe, please do. There is also a share button and a bell button, so if you really want to follow what I'm doing, feel free to hit them. Thanks a lot, bye bye.